Do we need a break? Yeah. Five minutes to come back again? Five minutes down. Elastic potential energy is the other type of potential energy that we will see commonly in your papers. So what happens is uh, certain materials are elastic. So you have like objects like springs, rubber bands, rubber bands, you know, what else, like certain balls, you know, rubber balls or basketballs, those, they are elastic, meaning that if you supply a force, apply a force onto it, it will either stretch or become compressed or they will change shape. Say like, like this, this picture down here, so this one is the spring and then you can compress the spring. So when the spring or the object, the object, elastic object is being compressed like this one, it will store elastic potential energy. So in this case, it stores elastic potential energy. Then when it is allowed to be released, it is not compressed anymore or it's not stretched anymore. So it will go back to its original uh, shape and then release the elastic potential energy in another form. So in the diagram, in the picture, so what happens is it gets compressed and then energy is being stored. Then he releases the spring and it gets converted into kinetic energy on himself and then he flies and then he bangs the whatever rock gets caught on there yeah, so that is elastic potential energy so if you have something a rubber ball that hits the ground so a rubber ball it drops and then it hits the ground once it hits the ground it will not stay at perfect shape it will then compress a bit so then at, on, at the ground, it will store some elastic potential energy. We don't have to calculate elastic potential energy. So what we are expected to know here is certain questions, they will ask how is energy being converted from one form to another form. So then you would have to use this if the object gets compressed or stretched. Yeah. Other than that, there's no calculation involved. So other than those few, the kinetic energy, the gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy, there are other forms. So one form is chemical potential energy. Sometimes it's written as chemical energy. So a whole gar whole 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 passage down there, whole paragraph in there. So it says that it's the energy stored in the chemical bonds of atoms between atoms of molecules. But we are not doing chemistry down here, so we don't really what you need to know is chemical energy. Or chemical potential energy is energy that is stored inside food or stored inside batteries. That is enough. So if we say we eat lunch, what we are doing is we consume the food and then we store the food in ourselves as chemical potential energy. 
Then let's say we have this situation. So when you get lunch, then you eat food. So you eat food down here. Then after that, after lunch, then what do you usually do? Go downstairs, go play computer, run around the house. Let's say you play some game. I don't know what game you play, so you play games. Maybe that has movement. Okay. So what happened is the chemical energy, chemical potential energy down here will be then converted. We got movement. Movement means is kinetic energy. So your chemical potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. So this is the part that you need to know. And then you need to know that it's found in food, it's found in fuel. That's all. This thing and they will not ask you to reproduce. So it's more for conversion of energy state. Then electrical energy. Do I need to elaborate? Do I need to elaborate on electrical energy? No. Mm. Like that. Then thermal energy, heat energy. There's another chapter on this. So heat energy is related to temperature. So let's say if something has high temperature means it has higher thermal energy. If it's low temperature, means it's low thermal energy. Mm. So if I have something with 100 degrees Celsius temperature, then another one, which is uh, 20 degrees like that. Which one has higher amount of thermal energy? 100 degrees Celsius. Yep. So there are other forms of energy, which is solar energy and nuclear energy. Those you can just go and read on your own free time. Solar energy comes from the sun. Uh. Nuclear energy you just read on your own. Mm. 